last year, it was one of my, my hardest years post, um, post surgery. I went through three years of a lot of pain um, and surgeries. Um, and then at the end of that, it resulted in, in an amputation. Pain stuffs with your head and, and, you know, and not just your head, but your body. And, and if you're not feeling good within your body, then your head sort of follows that. Um, and you can, you can distance yourself from a lot of things. And uh, I've hit rock bottom a couple of times. Um, and, and luckily for me, I had some really good mates that were there for me and, and you know, got in the hole with me and, and helped me climb out. So if I can pass on that favour to, to anybody else, then you know, I, I'm really, really happy to do so. If I allow myself to miss training and, and let that dark side sort of take over, that can carry on two or three days or, or, or even more. And, and I've learnt just bit by bit that literally just get out of bed and take that first step. You know, the first step rolls into the second step and, and you win. And, you know, sometimes it's really hard. The alarm clock goes off and you're like, oh, I don't want to train today. Everything hurts or whatever. But if I can just start training by the time I'm finished, whatever was bothering me is gone. Find something that makes you tick. Find something that will bring back your passion. And it can be that thing that just, that rope that you've got hold of to drag you out. The service personnel are, are widely known for their really tight knit friendships and, and mateships. And, and you know, when you're serving, everyone's got your back and, and you feel quite secure in, in that you've got that bit of a safety net. Uh, when you leave or, you know, if, if you're moving on from service life, you, you tend to lose that and that aspect, aspect of your life can be really hard to find in, in civilian life. You need to start by listening to people around you. Listen to your family, your partners, your kids. If they, they're the first ones that will start picking up on things and they'll tell you or they'll ask you. At the moment people are asking you if you're okay, should be the moment you should be asking yourself. Every single one of us has somebody that cares. There's no reason to give up.